hi everybody this is Anna Maria and I'm going to show you how to bulk upload your products to using bigcommerce.com as you can see I actually got I'm involved in my trial I've got about six days left and what I wanted to do was to learn how to do a bulk upload there's plenty of videos out there on how to do um, individual uploads and so let's let's get started because it took me a little bit to figure out uh, if I want to do a book upload, I'm going to first need to get a products list from your, from my distributor that is in an Excel format. That's going to be the best way to go. This gives you a sample of a couple of products that are in the, in a Excel format. Now, um, there are a couple of really good, helpful videos. Uh, the big, well, there's at least one big video that, a uh, good video that Big Commerce has that shows you how to what how to categorize all of these what I did I t actually took um, specific areas that I wanted to make sure to match to my big commerce site and I highlighted those yellow because my my supplier had additional products in addition so the first thing that I did was make sure that the categories that were mandatory I added now if you want to know where those categories are and let me show you where a really great video is. If you go to Big Commerce and go to their support, I type in um, mask import CSV. And that's going to take you over to this video, which is importing and exporting a CSV. This is a great video. It actually walks you through all of the different aspects around uh, a lot of the videos that are involved in the specific areas but more importantly underneath the video we've got additional uh, resources that talk about the specific filters and um, areas to go over so I would I would look at these specific areas and make sure that you have all of the important ones to you that you have them on there um, they're also under additional resources. You can also see that. So um, it, it'll have all of those those parts that you need. Once you've got your Excel spreadsheet um, set up here, and the little bit of time that it takes to set this up is minimal compared to trying to do it on each individual product, you're going to want to save this to a CSV file. So when you go to save as something, you can uh, click the place that you're going to save it, and you're going to want to hit a CSV comma delimited that is going unless you're on a Mac uh, but if you're on a Windows you're going to want to hit comma delimit, delimited and you're going to want to save that I've already done that and so if I go back to my uh, folder over here you can see that I've actually got two different CSV files that I've saved as I've experimented with different products so once you've got that saved you want to also make sure that you are able to upload your photos at the same time. The most important thing about mass importing is being able to consolidate your steps. The way that you would want to import your photos, you can do it two different ways. Uh, first, before you actually uh, save it as a CSV file, you can come over here and if you've got your product is on, if each of your product uh, pictures are on the web or they've already been uploaded somewhere you can actually have a category in here um, if I can find mine you actually I have a category in here like this one and instead of having image names you can import in the actual web address for that product for that image I did not do that because my images were mass downloaded to me and so I actually have the product names. So what I needed to find out is instead of having to go in and upload each product picture and then find the product um, URL and then put it into my Excel spreadsheet, that was going to take a lot of time. So I had to figure out a different way to do it. What I did uh, was go to Big Commerce and come down here to the Settings tab and then go over to this File Access Web Dab tab. There is a very brief and non-descriptive video on BigCommerce about this, but essentially what you need to do 
is to um, utilize this cyber this cyber duck and uh, to in order to access cyber duck you want to go over I'm going to take you over to the page where you can install cyber duck okay this I'm back at big commerce and if I go over here and I and I type in cyber duck I actually typed in how to use and I brought me over to this video which is connecting to WebDAP with cyber duck it's a good it doesn't have a video but it actually has a couple of how-to instructions and this is critical so this shows you how to go in and connect to it it also has a link right here to installing CyberDuck. So I installed CyberDuck and this is what CyberDuck looks like and then it tells you how to open a connection and fill in the server information and be able to to choose the correct amounts. Now your server information is going to be found on your BigCommerce um, site over here. So if I go in and do that, we'll log into CyberDuck okay now I've logged in to my open connection and I want to go over to product images if you don't have a products images folder then you'll want to create one and want to you'll want to create an import folder as well once I came into my import folder I actually for organization because I'm going to have multiple distributors I actually created my TAC file and then I've got all of these files that I've imported in now importing in is a fairly easy process in that if I've got a folder over here with my images I can literally grab these images I'm just gonna grab one to show you grab these in images and go over here and uh, right click on it and tell it to download the image in this case as you can see I've already got the image downloaded and it's gonna bring this in so I've got my images. If you have downloaded your images from a supplier, just a note that you will want to actually move these images over to an actual folder and move them out of your download as they will not uh, they will not move over to the duck if they're still in your downloads folder. So once I've got these in here, because I've got these in CyberDuck, uh, I guess these are considered to be linked to my site therefore I don't have to actually have a connection these numbers here if I control C on this and I search for that exact one it's going to bring up the name of that exact image so now I can actually go into um, big commerce I can go into my products I can import documents in and I can tell it to go ahead and import now if I go back to my big commerce the support and importing exporting a CSV it actually goes through in detail all of the different options basically I'm going to tell it that I want to do multiple choice I'm going to detect my category names and I'm going to import my file I need to choose my CSV file so in this case I'm going to go over here and choose my file I'm going to tell it that I do have headers um, separated and I'm going to hit next. Then with this I'm just going to match what Big Commerce calls with what I call. So I have item type and as you can see I've kind of tagged my my original um, item type and put in notes across notes for myself match product ID with product ID and I put a note in that this was a big commerce requirement match bin, bin picking number I don't need to do that there's a couple of things um, I had a catalog description for my supplier I added the product name so that I would be sure that I was matching it to the correct price so I'm gonna go ahead and match all of these as I do this you can see that I've got a number of um, pieces I've already I need to correct this map price to uh, catalog price and I need to find my um, image that I can match my products to. So once I have filled out all of the blanks I'm going to hit start import and you're going to see it importing in all of my products. Once it's imported in my products it's going to give me a report and it says all of these products have been um, 
imported successfully. These are previous imports that I have played with. Now I'm going to go view my products and make sure that my picture is uploaded correctly. It has now it has my images, so I need to figure out why my images are not showing. Okay, I have figured out why my product images did not upload. Let me show you what I did. Under, if you remember earlier in the video, I actually had a TAC subfolder under this import folder, and that TAC subfolder was preventing my images from uploading. So once I erased that, I was able to upload my images. So now that I have the that additional template that's been taken care of in my duck and I deleted it and pulled everything into my main template now you can see that when I do my upload it now has all of my product images so that is how you bulk upload into big commerce utilizing their new required tool which is cyberduck so best of luck if you have any questions comments or if you like this video please comment below and I appreciate you watching it. Thanks.